All right, gang, here is a look at a couple critical steps that you need to remember when producing your pledge uh, video. First and foremost, do not start with a video or a file from the internet. Let me show you an example. If I go to the internet and let's say my group is doing flags, I do American flag. If I open this image, let's say I want to start with this one, so I grab that image put it in Photoshop. If I think, okay, sweet, I'm gonna start writing my text, blah, 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 blah on here, you are potentially designing on the wrong size. You must start a new document, which is Command N. You're going to use the film and video settings right here and the HDTV. This will assure that it's the right size. How do I know it's the wrong size? Look at how square that one is. Look at how long that one is. So you need to open the image that you want from the internet but then you are going to drag it into your actual document see how small that is compared to how it was supposed to be so make sure for each and every segment so let's say this one was called to the flag that was one of my assignments if I have another st uh, segment I would again file new film and video HDTV create I would save this one as, let's say I was also doing under God. Okay, so I would have different ones for each and every one. So make sure it's the right size and make sure you're creating different ones for each. Once I get that created, then I am good to go. Okay, secondarily, once you start, you're going to want to design it as a blank typography first or as a still typography that is. So I would do two. Let's go ahead and make this look at least a little bit decent. Two, and we're going to write flag down here. Okay, something like that. And hit enter. And I'm going to do the. I'm going to have a little fun with the. I'm going to rotate it around because it's not really that important a word. So I'll rotate it around and I'll do like a thing, sure, like this. Okay. Design your typography to look cool first. Okay, I'm even going to do a little bit more here so I have an actual shape. Okay, Boop. sure. Let's call that my typography. That looks cool on its own, like so. Okay, I would do that first. Just design it and make it look good. Worry about how it looks at the end because that's ultimately how it's going to end up looking. So I'm even going to come in and throw a little stroke on, oops, I'm on the wrong layer. So I'll throw a little stroke and everything on here to make this thing actually look good. I'll copy that layer style and paste that layer style on these two. All right, once it looks good, then you can start your animation. Some people put one word in and then they animate it all crazy and they forget about good typography to begin with. So once it's good and it's ready to animate, I'm going to go to Window and I'm really looking for this Timeline option right here. So Timeline, I will then create a video timeline which will give me all my clips on its end thing. Now here's the last critical step that I want to point out you are not going to have a stanza that's going to be five seconds long. To the flag is probably like half a second. So just for general, um, so we're all kind of designing the same, we want to design all of our animations so it fits in one second. The problem that will happen is if you design yours on five seconds, it might look really fine, like it'll slide in really slow and it'll fade in really slow and you'll feel like, wow, I can do all this cool stuff. But then when we go to put it in your actual video, we have to speed all that what looks good slow stuff up and then it'll look awful in the one second or half second that to the flag actually happens. So if you design it on a one second timeline it usually looks much better and you won't make those mistakes. So make sure it's the correct size. Design the typography first so the end typography looks good before you start animating. Create your video timeline, shrink everything to one second. Once everything is one second, now you can start messing around with fades and slides and opacity wipes, transforms, all of that kind of stuff. All right, have fun with it.